Finally, I visited the Philippines, where I met with numerous world leaders at the U.S. ASEAN and East Asia summits. At ASEAN, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, we made it clear that no one owns the ocean. Freedom of navigation and overflight are critical to the security and prosperity of all nations. I also met with the Prime Ministers of India, Australia, and Japan to discuss our shared commitment to a free and open Indo-Pacific. During our visit, President Duarte of the Philippines thanked the American people and our armed forces for supporting the recent liberation of Marawi from ISIS. We pledged to strengthen and deepen our long-standing alliance. At the East Asia Summit, the United States negotiated and signed four important leader statements on the use of chemical weapons, money laundering, poverty alleviation, and countering terrorist propaganda and financing. And crucially, at both summits and throughout the trip, we asked all nations to support our campaign of maximum pressure for North Korean denuclearization. And they are responding by cutting trade with North Korea, restricting financial ties to the regime, and expelling North Korean diplomats and workers. Over the last two weeks, we have made historic strides in reasserting American leadership, restoring American security, and reawakening American confidence. Everywhere we went, I reaffirmed our vision for cooperation between proud, independent, and sovereign countries. And I made clear that the United States will be a reliable friend, a strong partner, and a powerful advocate for its own citizens. The momentum from our trip will launch us on our continued effort to accomplish the three core objectives I outlined. To unite the world against North Korean nuclear threat, to promote a free and open Indo-Pacific region, and to advance fair and reciprocal economic relations with our trading partners and allies in the region. We have established a new framework for trade that will ensure reciprocity through enforcement actions, reform of international organizations, and new fair trade deals that benefit the United States and our partners. And we have laid out a pathway toward peace and security in our world where sovereign nations can thrive, flourish, and prosper side by side. This is our beautiful vision for the future. This is a future where this vision, this dream, is only possible if America is strong, proud, and free. As long as we are true to ourselves, faithful to our founding, and loyal to our citizens, then there is no task too great no dream too large, no goal beyond our reach. My fellow citizens, America is back, and the future has never looked brighter. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you very much.